YouTube, what's going on? How y'all doing? Hope you're having a good day, man. We got a crazy video by Decoy Voice. I, I didn't know about this part of this whole situation until now. Until I seen the, the thumbnail of it. So, we all know that Aiden Ross, he had a very big, big live stream with Trump himself. And Kamala, she not doing so good. And ever, ever since that she tried to be black during this campaign... And in other times, she's Indian, you know. It ain't looking too good for her, bro. It ain't looking too good. So we got this video by Decoy Voices, man. He pretty sums it. He sums it all up pretty well. So let's look at this, man. Make sure that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. Let's get into it. Let's go. After President Donald Trump went on Aiden Ross's record-setting live stream, Ross gave Trump a cyber truck with his iconic fight image to over half a million live viewers, which really highlights the contrast between Kamala's live stream on Joe Biden's nearly 1 million subscriber channel, only receiving an abysmal 500 live viewers. That just shows you how much people don't really give a crap about Kamala. Because, bro, I've seen a little bit of Aiden's stream that day. That, bro, that was crazy that was insane like i'm pretty sure that is the most live people that have ever watched the stream on kick I, I'm, I swear to you i'm pretty damn sure like that's just pathetic right here though 565 people watching of course. So then they reached out to Kai Sinat to try to recreate the magic Trump received on Ross's stream. I got the f***ing secret service calling me five times! I haven't spoke to this girl in so god long who gonna have the audacity to text me. We need you a part of the campaign. What the f is Casanac gonna talk about when politics <laughs> Let's be real. Which just goes to show how desperate the Democrats are becoming, as I am absolutely certain that they could care less about Sanat until they saw how much Gen Z positively responded to hearing Trump speak. Everybody knows that live streaming is the way to go as far as like getting your name out there, popularity. Especially if you're on Kai stream or Aiden Ross or anybody else like your age and stuff like that. Everybody knows that. So that's why they're trying to reach out to them. That's why, like, I don't, I don't know a specific number, but I, I guarantee you every time Kai or somebody like this big as him reacts to a fucking music video or something like that, he gets a pretty penny. There's some sometimes he gets paid to react to a certain video like there's a lot that i even i don't know and i'm not finna try to pocket watch nobody but bro you could just imagine how much stuff that he gets paid for like he probably got paid to play elden ring that one time he got paid to do reactions to you know what i mean like all all kind of stuff bro but kamala what she's doing is really desperate bro she's she out here twerking and shit for votes got got one of the biggest like thoughts ever in the rap industry as they're twerking for kamala megan the stallion speak without the filter of the corporate dinosaur media so now she suddenly wants to go on sanat's live stream before she's agreed to any press conferences before she's agreed to any debates her priority is to piggyback off the success of some random streamer who's best known for playing video games so i can understand why he's mad he just wants to hold the michael jordan stance on politics where he could entertain all the video game fans but if he suddenly starts endorsing a political candidate for stacks of cash he would immediately alienate at least half his audience and since he's already rich i imagine he doesn't need their money but now they're nearly forcing him into addressing why or why not he doesn't want to have kamala cackling in the background of his streams while he games because kamala's campaign is desperate to spin how dislikable she is to everybody but gen z specifically you think you just fell out of a coconut tree <laughs> As ABC states, she's embracing the memes, where there's suddenly this TikTok trend of teens dancing to a remix of Kamala's cackles. This just seems incredibly inorganic, especially when an influencer came forward stating they received an email about being compensated to support Harris on social media. So now what hang on 
Hope this email finds you in good spirit. This is, uh, we are prepared to launch online this campaign focused on engaging young voters in battleground states. You know, coming from in the light on recent now. They received an email about being. I hope this message found you a couple of days ago regarding your paid partnership. Please let me know if you need any additional information. Being compensated to support Harris on social media. That's so crazy. now these posts start to make sense. Tim Walls? I like that Caucasian man. I like him. How do y'all feel? I, I like that Caucasian man. She picked Tim Waltz to be VP. <laughs> We're gonna win, y'all. We're gonna win. I hate how I can feel the propaganda of the Kamala campaign working on me. Because part of me is like, yes, Queen, per Brat Summer, Kamala Harris. And even I talked about this over six months ago. Where it's so cringe to like how how hard people try. You can tell when people are not authentic. Because she's trying to reach towards black people, which isn't working. She's trying to reach towards LTBQ, uh, however you say that. She's trying to reach out to them too as well, which is working on it. Because I feel like, I'm not going to lie, that group right there, they pretty much fall for anything. <clears throat> they fall for anything, bro. I'm just, I'm going to just keep it a beam. They fall for the popular TikTokers were apparently being offered over $50,000 to say positive stuff about Joe Biden. Now, some people have their morals and some people are for sale. I'm not going to judge anybody for being poor and needing the money to survive, but I also think it's important to identify that a celebrity endorsing something is literally their job and how they feed their family. Mm -hmm. But a viewer parroting that nonsense for free it's crazy. is just idiocy. It's crazy. So when you see posts on Reddit with 44,000 upvotes saying that Kamala Kamala's VP pick, Tim Waltz, just ended Trump's VP pick, J.D. Vance. It literally looks like a stand-up bit for second graders that still believe their lies. That is if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So. He just, he reminds me of, uh, he reminds me of Joe Biden, Biden's brother, with a little bit few more brain cells. But that didn't stop the top replies from loving his energy, calling it the greatest political zinger ever, and more generic comments receiving thousands of upvotes. But as we've known, Reddit has been plagued by liberal bots astroturfing the site for years now. And yes. it's really just part of their game of specifically targeting low information voters. They can't campaign on Kamala's record when they're actively trying to scrub the internet of everything from her hard left voting history to her status as a border czar. They can't campaign on Trump's actual record as Americans would gladly return to 2018's economy, world peace, and mean tweets. So they exactly. have to dumb down Kamala's campaign to one word, vague, as they're constantly trying to paint Republicans as weird you know it you feel it these guys are creepy and yes just weird as hell that's what you see that's what you see and kamala as brett kamala is brat and calling trump weird is basically all they have left as when you see street interviews asking random liberals why they hate trump it's always very vague statements about how he's a racist a bigot i was really just about to say that so anytime you ask somebody why they hate trump they'll either say he's racist or he doesn't do shit and when you ask them what he's done that's racist or what he hasn't done for the country they start stuttering bro i can name a lot of stuff that, that trump has done uh, for one he's trying to stop illegal immigrants from coming in here he literally stopped the terrorist attack literally pinpointed he had a, he gave him a pay, piece of paper folded up and said tread lightly basically i know where you stay at you know, he he, showed, he gave him a picture of his house, of an overhead view. You know, what I, like it, that it's it's that's crazy, bro. And as far as racism, he literally freed Kodak Black, one of the blackest. Uh, what word can I use for him? One of the blackest, most thug. I guess I could use for that word. I guess. Literally got him out of jail. Um, he's done a lot of stuff for us, like helping black jobs and black businesses for us that. And I feel like there shouldn't even be a division in that in the first place. But that's the conversation for another day. But 
He's, he's done a lot, bro. He's done a lot. Or some other spooky word. But whenever they're asked to specify what exact moment did he do to make them believe this, they usually have nothing. When they think about it long enough, they just parrot some debunked media talking point they heard on TV. So instead of campaigning on some hardline fact about why Trump is bad, they just give you the vague, weird statement. That's not a fact, it's a feeling. And it's easier to brainwash someone into feeling an emotion than forgetting the truth. And it's the same logic they're using to try to convince you Harris is a good candidate for president. There's really nothing they can reference in her entire career that won't backfire when seen up close. So they just give you the vague brat statement or the even more off-putting woke statement. We have to stay woke. Like everybody needs to be woke. <laughs> You can look in her eyes and tell she don't really believe that bullshit that she just said. I look, look at her face. Look at her face. Statement. We have to stay woke. Like, everybody needs to be... Like, that's like that face that you make whenever you're trying to say something and you hope it connects with people. And you're like, yeah, guys, you're, am I right? Yeah? We have to stay woke. Yeah? Like, what? Like, she's literally just talking out of her ass, though. Every time I've heard Kamala say something, it's either a corny line that she's trying to get across to a young Gen Z or she's just saying something that she hopes it like catches grasp with people that's that's literally all she does every single time I've heard her talk it makes no sense you woke <laughs> <laughs> and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker but just stay more woke than less woke <laughs> yeah and it's sad as even in front of an audience of her supporters, her cackling is even off-putting to them, as there is literally zero substance as to what she's saying. Yeah, fuck you Where every Kamala for. Harris speech sounds like it was written by that iPhone autofill predictive text bot, and I can't be convinced otherwise. Me and you hear Kamala's cackles and think, there's no way she can fix America's economy, stop World War III, and avert a military draft. But sadly, there are people out there that see all this paid-for propaganda and think, Yes, give me four more years of liberal leadership because Trump and J.D. Vance are weird. As when Vance went on the popular Full Send podcast, AOC just had to chime in stating, why are you sitting like that? Possibly because the man in her life, for some reason, doesn't need to sit like that. As apparently she's the only person that needs this sitting position. So this whole thread of AOC trying to- It's because guys have balls, maybe? Like, what are you, what are you getting at? Like, he's- what do you mean, why is he sitting like that? Come on, man. Own the weird Republicans only backfired as it highlighted the actual bizarre nature of what's going on over there. But that's their whole campaign strategy. Yeah. Low information, vague comments, just hoping you won't look more into it. As Kamala's VP pick thinks that this is something that he should campaign on. In Minnesota, we respect our neighbors and their personal choices that they make. Even if we wouldn't make the same choice for ourselves, there's a golden rule. Mind your own damn business. But it only reminds us as governor, he set up a snitch hotline where residents can snitch on their neighbors during the lockdowns. Exactly. And then also, it's funny how they say mind your own damn business, but they got a lot to say about Trump. They got a lot to say about anybody that votes for the right. I guess you're crazy. Please leave the following information. Your name your callback number, how the stay-at-home order is being violated, and where the stay-at-home order was violated. And again, them bringing up so-called wins just reminds us of how badly they failed their citizens, which if anything, makes the average American less likely to support their campaign for president, which is probably why they're avoiding press conferences, debates, or anything that isn't paid for rap concerts. Because Americans remember how Walls' state burned to the ground, where entire cities were destroyed, and stories that had nothing to do with social injustice were looted out of business. And then his response was equally disgusting. The civil unrest that ensued from that was probably some of the greatest that we've seen both in this nation and globally. As he even ignored That's Minneapolis's crazy. mayor's request for help. And the truth is that on Wednesday, around 6 p.m., I called the governor and asked for the National Guard. Text messages and emails from the mayor's office for Wednesday, May 27th, back that up. Mayor just came out and said the chief wants him to call in the National Guard to help at the third precinct. Precinct. Mayor appears intent on doing. Talking with Mark. Thanks. Let's keep it in our team only. Let's keep. Let's keep this info team only. I guess that's what. Okay. I don't know. 
He called the governor just now. Sounds like they are looting Target. Word, word on the ground is it is really crazy and escalating. Probably because his wife was just enjoying the smell of destruction. Those first days, you know, when there were riots, I could smell the burning tires. That was a very real thing. And I kept the windows open for as long as I could because I felt like that was such a touchstone of what was what was happening. What? Somebody need to lock her up. What are you... She basically just said she enjoyed it. Like it was like a breath of fresh air to her. Somebody get her locked though. She need to be studied. It's crazy, bro. So while you were locked down in your home because Walls set up a North Korean style surveillance state and had your local businesses destroyed so his wife could embrace the smell of it burning, just remember he's now campaigning on respect your neighbor and mind your own business. And knowing That's all this crazy. and still supporting them sounds insane, but just know Kamala's campaign has managed to hide in her own backyard for weeks now, and suddenly she's pulling ahead in the polls with nothing but propaganda from the news media, social media, and the local. Biden, Trump. Where's Trump at? Trump is. is Trump's already up here. We good. Trust me when I say this. We're gonna. End, we're gonna be good. But as far as that part right there, that literally goes to show you that like. The people that they're voting for right here, aka Harris. If shit hits the fan for America as a whole, they're not going to do shit about it. They're just going to sit there and be like, I feel like we all just need to mind our business. It's crazy. Oh, information voters that don't know any better. So share this video with someone that needs to see it, because with the corporate news media and the social media algorithms in the way, it's very unlikely they'll ever see the truth. And if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status of today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how the media's attack on Trump accidentally just proved him right. Yeah, shout out to him though, man, he makes some pretty good videos, and also I do make my own videos as well. So, fuck off. <laughs> For the people that always, I feel like this, there's always those that one group, that one individual, That'll be like, you need to make your own videos instead of just reacting to it. Buddy, I've made my own before. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this one in the comment section. Let me know how I made y'all feel or what y'all thought about it. And yeah, shout out to him. And we go. Peace.